there's well over 2 billion metric tons of food waste generated around the world. And when this food waste is left, it just emits harmful greenhouse gases, which then translates to increasing temperatures or some freak weather. Hi, I'm Jesslyn. And I'm Didi, and we're the co-founders of NNE Innovations. Just in Singapore, as a nation, we actually waste 813,000 tons of food waste. And that's a mind-boggling number. Instead of sending all that food waste to an incinerator, how can we uh, recycle that? At the same time, also support maybe our nation's 30 by 30 goal of strengthening our food resilience. My name is Edward Chia. I'm the founder and managing director of the Life Lab Resources. It all sparked off during Chinese New Year. We were having drinks and eating like uh, nuts, mandarin oranges, and we were like, hey, there's so much food waste. There are like mandarin peels, you know. So we decided, why not we use something that it's left over from the world and turn them into a more natural, sustainable product that everyone could benefit with. We found our company during COVID and it was a lockdown season. We were basically in lockdown in her house. We yeah, it was like a bioreactor in her room. So that was our secret lab. During COVID outbreak, there was an overuse of disinfectants. So the active ingredient can actually cause antimicrobial resistance, where actually the bacteria become resistant and they become superbugs. That by 2050, it's estimated that the number of deaths caused by AMR would be equivalent to those caused by cancer. So we wanted to combat this AMR problem by coming up with a natural alternative which is also sustainable and made from food waste. So we call our technology Vikang. We use a system called the Waste Master. Food waste is being treated in a Waste Master within 24 hours. We achieve few critical outcomes. We reduce the net weight and volume to 20% by removing most of the moisture, eliminate pathogens such as E. coli and salmonella. The outcome of that is a powdery substrate that is now a nutrient rich. And then we harvest the protein, we then sell it on to feed nutrition companies where the protein becomes protein feed for all types of livestock such as animals or aquaculture. And that's how we actually close the food loop. In about a year, we have uh, actually achieved quite a significant good market traction. In fact, I would say by the middle of this year, we have about close to 15 deployments. And many of these deployments are with very big property companies or large catering companies or large hotel chains. We are heartened that there are companies out there who are taking climate change very seriously and they are putting the money where their mouth is in that sense to actually commit and invest in circular economy solutions. We use a green technology, we extract the things we want and we synthesize it into Vikang and the remaining pulp of fibres we make it into packaging so it's a zero waste process that we use in our technology. We create downstream products such as medical grade masks, all the way to a range of natural, edible hand sanitizers, disinfectants, to specialty coatings such as coating materials that are not only used for air bus, but also transportations that can last on surfaces for more than 180 days. The DBS Foundation it has been an amazing help because it is a shot in the arm to give us the resources, the confidence to set up our pilot bar refinery, and we are now on track to set up a pilot bar refinery uh, with Tomasic Polytechnic as our joint development research partner by the first quarter of this year. What I'm motivated more is not just about how big the company grows, but more so of how many lives we impact. With the DBS Foundation grant, we are able to not only scale up financially, we are able to scale our production from one ton all the way to 100 tons, and that will allow us to bring our technology to a global scale. And I think with this grant, it also gives us credibility and it helps get the word out for people to adopt our technology. This grant also helps get our coating machines so that we can start to coat the insides of appliances, for example, your fridge or the cars you get in to drive yourself home, the buses you take, everything you see or touch, it will be empowered with our technology. Our vision is to upcycle more than five tons of food waste per year by the year of 2030.